Hi everyone, that cat mommy here and today I'm going to answer one of the questions I get asked all the time which is where did I get this box house from? Well, I've got some news. I actually didn't buy it. I DIY this myself and I don't have a plan for you that I can actually show you because I just kind of winged it. I am in no way a professional DIYer. I just kind of was like, I need a cat house. I need to hide some storage boxes and so I came up with this idea, but you all love it so much that I thought I would explain to you my process in case maybe you want to take it and make it your own. So the very first thing that I did was I took my storage bins, which these have storage bins underneath them. I decided to use something because I knew if I just put cardboard boxes and stack them on top of each other, that they would be very light and that when the cats jumped on them, they might topple over or fall over and I didn't want that to happen. So I knew I needed something with a little bit of weight. So putting storage boxes underneath these that I had stuff in them that I didn't really need to access anytime soon would help weigh them down. And then I just left them sitting in the room for a little while. And then I decided to add this really cool scratching post in the middle of them, which would give the cat something to scratch on. And it separated the two different boxes, kind of gave it a different feel. Then after I did that, I started to actually build out the cat box house. Now, cardboard boxes are not strong enough to hold something on their own. So I had seen on YouTube and unfortunately I didn't save them. I don't remember who any of these creators are. If I do ever remember, I will link to them in the description of this video, but they were doing amazing things with cardboard. Like they were making beds for human beings and like ottomans for your living room out of cardboard and just doing all these kind of different things with cardboard. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I can really build this box house with cardboard. But what they were doing was they was gluing multiple pieces of cardboard together to make them super strong. So this is all two layers of cardboard at least thick, okay? And I'll explain to you why I say at least because some pieces have more than two layers of cardboard glued together. So all I did was glue two different pieces of cardboard together. Now. I used boxes that I got in the mail. Um, if they were too beat up, I didn't use them, but I used the outside of the boxes, like which had the writing on them, and I just matched those two outsides together so I had the clean cardboard look um, on the outside, <laughs> uh, on both sets of the outside, and that is what the boxes are made out of. And then I just glued the sides together until I had one box here. This is actually separate. This whole thing comes apart. So this is one box here, which has two storage bins underneath it. And then this is also an individual piece. This has two storage bins underneath it. And then this top part that comes across through the scratcher. Now this will lift off. You can lift this off and get to these storage bins. And then this also lifts off and you can get to these storage bins as well. So if I ever need to access the storage bins, I do still have access to them. So this is a great um, idea for somebody who might wanting to give your cat something to play with and wanting to hide ugly storage bins. Now you don't have to use the same pattern that I used. I am just doing like a woodsy theme in their cat room. So I thought, hey, why not do a log cabin or a spin on a log cabin? So that's what I chose to do. So in order to make this look like a log cabin, the next thing I did was I cut strips. These are strips of cardboard. Okay. That's all I did. I cut long strips of cardboard to look like logs for my log cabin. And then I just covered them in this wood fabric because I wanted the cats to have something that felt soft. Um, I could have also just as easily painted them, but I was like, I don't know what kind of paint is non-toxic and what if the cats want to claw it or lick it or something like that. So I decided to go with fabric just because I thought it was a better option. And then I just glued the fabric with some non-toxic glue um, on to the cardboard and then on the back I actually used hot glue to gl double glue it on the back and then I glued it on to the cardboard boxes to make it look like logs. Now also another part of this is if the cats claw this they claw it and they put holes in it 
I don't have to replace the entire thing. I could just pull off one of these and just replace one log at a time if they destroyed it. And I found out today, um, because these do get hairy, cat things get hairy, you know that, that I don't know if it's the fabric or the cardboard or the combination of the two. Literally, I think this is just cloth fabric. There's no like, it's not specialty fabric. I bought it at a fabric store. But it, when the cat hair is on this, I just can take my hand and wipe it off. I don't need a brush. I don't need a lint roller. Like it just mats up and it just brushes. Like you can kind of see right here. It just brushes off, which was like stellar for me. Like, cause I mean, who can just take their hand and wipe off their cat's um, cat building? You know, most of the time we have to use some kind of tool or something like that. Now with the fur, I do have to use, you know, a brush, but this just to be able to wipe it off with my hand, it actually worked better than the brush that I use for the fur. So that was kind of cool. The next part that I did was I kind of wanted to break up the dimension and I didn't want to do log cabins on the inside. So you can see right here, I decided I wanted to do this like a rock wall to give it like another dimension. So I actually found this at the Dollar Tree. This is peel and stick tile, but when I got it at the Dollar Tree, what I didn't realize was I thought I was just going to be able to peel it off and stick it on here and it was going to be a good time. There's a border around this pill and stick tile when you get it at the Dollar Tree you may be able to find you know rock wallpaper or something else that you could use that would be better you wouldn't have to do this step with but I got mine at the Dollar Tree and it has a brown border around it which I hated so I went to cut off that brown border when I did that it cut off the back part of the pill and stick tile from the Dollar Tree because again I got it from the Dollar Tree. And so I had to use hot glue and actually hot glue each section of this rock wall on. But I really like the way it looks, so it was totally worth it for me. So if you do um, decide to do that, just know the peel and stick will come off if you use Dollar Tree. If you use something else, it might be stuck on there better, so you might have a better experience with that. But that's all this is, is peel and stick tile that I hot glued on. So inside the little cubby hole or house compartment, I wanted this to feel more like a lawn or a patio where they could sit out in the sun because this is near our window. And then I wanted this to be a little bit more private, like maybe like a bedroom, okay? So I wanted to put wallpaper in there. I also used fabric for this as well. Now this was much more difficult. If I had to do it all over again, I would have put the fabric on the cardboard before I assembled it because I didn't do that, but I wasn't sure what I was doing when I assembled it. Like I didn't measure it. I was just using hot glue and like magical dreams. Um, so I actually had to crawl in this, which I am not a tiny person and that is a tiny hole. So I don't have video footage from that. This is <laughs> video footage of me doing it not inside the hole, but just imagine my whole body. It was very complicated, <laughs> but I basically just put some glue on there. I hot glued the corners of the fabric and I used fabric for the inside of this again as wallpaper just to make it a little more cozy inside there. And then I had raw edges of fabric on the inside here. I also had raw edges of this rock wall inside here that I wanted to cover up. So I just took some basic poster board that you could find literally anywhere. Uh, I think I got that at the Dollar Tree as well. Um, I cut little tiles, like little ceiling tiles, and I hot glued those and the top to be ceiling to cover up the raw edges of the fabric and of the rock wall as well to give them a textured ceiling. The next thing I did was I glued in this fur as their carpet. I looked for a really long time for a reasonably priced carpet, carpet scraps, something like that that I could use instead of fur. And it really came down to nothing was pricing out at the same price as what I could get fur for at my local fabric store. They had coupons, shout out to Joann's Fabric. If you have a Joann's Fabric near you, do download the Joann's Fabric app. I, this is not an ad for Joann's Fabric, but it's a fantastic place. It's where I go buy all my stuff at. Download their app and they have coupons on there. I love a coupon, my DIYers that like, like a deal, okay? So I used coupons and got this at like 40% off. Um, so that was a big savings for the fur that I glued onto for the carpet. 
um, right here on this one and on the inside as well. Then for the top, I wanted it to be a little bit more matchy. Again, I couldn't find carpet at a reasonable price. So I just used this fabric. It's very soft. I don't think it's fur, um, but it's very soft and um, the cats like it. Now with that fabric, I can use my little fur scraper to get all the fur off, but then I just glued it to the top. And that's literally all this is and i just turned it into a fun diy catalog cabin but i feel like you could do this with anything if you wanted to just make one box tower to cover some storage in your house you could cover it with you know a piece of fur on top and then maybe just fabric to match your house like whatever color that is or if you wanted to be bold you could turn this into anything just by gluing cardboard <laughs> and fabric together. So hot glue is a key. You are gonna need a little bit of fabric glue. You're gonna need fabric. Again, almost all of this I bought at Joanne Fabrics. I will link in the bottom of this video to all of the stuff that I used and links to buy it wherever you wanna buy it at. I'll link to some in Amazon if you don't have a Joanne's Fabric near you as well. So all you really need is a can do it attitude and a little bit of time and some hot glue sticks. So if you make this for yourself, please tag me, okay, on social media because I would love to see your DIY creations for your cats. I wanna see how they turn out. Trust me when I tell you, if I can do this, you can do this. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you want to connect with us more, please follow us on all our social media networks. We would love to have you over there. And until I see you guys over on the next video, hey, you know what to do. Keep living your most perfect life.